Today I'm going to be making for you the apple winter toddy with Kurum Gin. Before we get started on any of this, I really just want to cover a few basic and quick safety things as we're going to be using a hot pan and some boiling water. Your hot pan does not need to be scalding by any means, so keep it on a really low temperature as you want to be able to enjoy this drink shortly after serving it. And we are going to be using some boiling water to warm up your glass for when the drink goes in there. Again, just make sure you're very careful. The fun part. So we're going to start off with a large measure of Kurun Gin, as always. With this being a toddy, this was traditionally a drink served more for medicinal purposes. So really, we're putting this drink for you today as something to see you through the colder months. And uh, if you need any excuse for medicinal remedies, maybe this is it. Uh, we're going to do 125 mils of fresh pressed apple juice. 125 mils is quite a lot, though in a warmer drink, the heat is going to allow those alcohol notes to carry through a lot more. So a nice length and a like apple juice is always a really good idea. Next, some fresh pressed lemon juice, purely just to keep those citrusy flavors carrying through that are so dominant in Karun Gin, and also to ensure that this drink is never too sickly sweet. 20 mils of lemon juice should do the job for this one. A wee dash of port, just for the time of year that we're around. I'm sure there's plenty hanging about and it's really gonna add a lovely ruby red color to this drink too. A couple of dash of bitters is a really good idea as it just adds another level of seasoning or spice to the drink as a whole. And then for the sweetener, you just wanna add a sugar cube or a few drops of sugar syrup. But for this one, with the heat and everything like that, we wanna do this as an authentic a way as possible. Give that sugar a quick chance to break down. And while you're doing all of this, hopefully you've had your pan on your heat source warming up slowly. From here, I'm actually gonna do the really cheesy, here's one I prepared earlier for you. And it certainly smells like it's ready to go. We're really trying to invoke all of those seasonal kind of notes and something that is just gonna warm you from the inside out. Empty your glass so that it's nice and clean and should still be touchable, but should never be scalding. And from there, add to the glass. Finally, we want to finish off a great tasting drink with a couple of really great garnishes, just to complete the entire look and sensation of such a good drink. The clove studded orange is probably one of the most classic toddy garnishes that you can do. And the heat source within this drink is going to open up all those rich flavors that cloves have to offer, while the citrus brings about the aromatic notes that we're still trying to bring forward. Few Kurun drinks would be complete without a couple of apple slices in the top, and it is an incredibly aesthetic looking aspect to the whole drink. Finally, a quick grade of nutmeg. And the drink's ready to go. And there you have it guys, the apple winter toddy. A lovely warming drink to see you through those colder months. Cheers.